What's up guys, yeah, I'm in 2110 here and I am doing a unboxing of the Deluxe Vault Hunters edition of Borderlands 2 also known as the Collector's Edition which it specifies there for some reason in case you didn't already know what you were buying Yeah, so this was £80 on GameStop, it's not mine because I don't have a PS3, I have a superior console It's got the side on here, what it has on the back of the disc which is just the basic information, gubbins and copyright and on this far side, it also has what you get, which is a bobblehead, an art book, the game, a box, and some stickers, which have already been applied to various things. So if we open it up, it's arranged fairly nicely. I don't think they could fit anything more in the box if they'd tried. There's a piece of cardboard <laughs> for no good reason. I'll get to the main bit afterwards. And then there's an art book, which is in a nice hardback font thingied case, which is a bit bulky, a lot bulkier than the Gears of War one anyway, and that has various concepts of every monster and every, well, most weapons and most characters, even though he was in the first one and you know what he looks like. There's also add-on codes for sky rocket grenades and character skins and heads, which have already been entered. It's a fly. For one of every character, you can make. If you wanted to, you can make the siren bald. For all all your bald fantasies there. And then there's another code for the Mechromancer and the Golden Key and Gearbox Gun Pack and the Vault Hunter's Relic. They give you a new character and they haven't even created it yet. I don't know why 2K Games are obviously doing something there. Then you get the game obviously in a nice cardboard sleeve. I got it in a cardboard sleeve as well for the Xbox, which is quite nice because Borderlands 1's in a cardboard sleeve. I don't know why they put it in, why, why they couldn't just give you it like that. I won't know. But that's the game. It's got bad language, violence, and online. And then it says text, voice, and manual. I don't know what that means at all. And then it's got all the gubbins that are on the side on there. And then the main part of the actual collector's edition, which I think most people bought it for, is this. Which is in a bobblehead of Marcus, who was the bus driver in Borderlands 1 and is the seller of munitions, etc. in Borderlands 2. And has his vending machines, which this is put into. I'll try and open this. If I can find where it's been opened previously. If it has been opened previously. Oh, the side. No, not the side. I'm going to have to edit this now. God damn. I can't get in. This is embarrassing. Have you been in this already? <laughs> it would be easy if I had a knife. Because I don't want to damage the box. Come on. Come on. Open. So be s yeah, why did they need to sell the tape? Is it not in enough packaging in the box already? Right, there we go. I managed not to break a piece of cardboard. Which I, I, I broke more things in the Driver San Francisco unboxing than I did in this. Like this one. Come on. Oh. Why is there so much packaging? It's not essential. Right, there's the vending machine. And then he is Marcus. He's very detailed quite small, he looks a lot bigger with there, because they have him comparison with the art book, which is a lot smaller than, he's bigger than the art book on there, and he is on here, but he's, it looks a lot bigger on there than it does on here. Yeah, it's quite a nice, nice model. For £80, you know what you're getting, really. It would be nice if it said Marcus across there, but that's just me being picky. Yeah, that's... He's got gold teeth, never knew that. So that's the Borderlands 2 Collector's Edition. Uh, I have Borderlands 2, so obviously all the information if you want to play Borderlands with me is on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.